Bullying is an important issue on the doorstep of America. From the 19th to the 22nd of December, seniors Aaliyah Rabune and Claire Finup were in the Tiger's Den raising money for the Stomp Out Bullying campaign. Aaliyah Rabune had this to say on the epidemic. It happens all the time. Um, and as much as we want it to go away, I don't necessarily know if it ever will unless we don't prevent it by doing fundraisers and campaigns like these kinds of things. The Stomp Out Bullying Campaign is the leading bullying prevention campaign, focusing on reducing verbal and physical abuse, cyberbullying, and sexting. By purchasing a green wristband for $3, students had the opportunity to support the campaign. In two days, she raised nearly $100. This passion for bullying prevention didn't come out of thin air. Aaliyah has her own experiences. My freshman year, I had an Ask.fm account, which is where you can like post anonymously to like people's pages and... Mine kind of got out of hand. People were kind of like telling me to like kill myself and like call me every name in the book. So I guess it just kind of stemmed from there that I kind of grew a passion to make others aware who are victims of like bullying in any form, just kind of know that they're not alone. Ali Rabune explains how mental illness and bullying coincide. Mental health and bullying kind of go hand in hand. Being told specific things about yourself that may not necessarily be true kind of affects you mentally, um, definitely has a toll on your health, and so I think it's really good that we're also doing the End the Stigma this week at school, um, just because words hurt, actions hurt, and sometimes can lead to someone taking their own life, which I think is really important to bring awareness to. All throughout Cedar Falls High School, students get involved in Mental Health Awareness Week. Students also had the opportunity to purchase baked goods from the Tiger's Den on Wednesday and Thursday before school. School counselor Chris Wood has a personal message for Cedar Falls students. We let the students kind of take the role, and that is the coolest thing to do in this, the school. No matter if it's a mental health week or stomp out the bullying, um, all together just letting you guys take the lead on has been cool. We've just been here to be support. This should be something ongoing that was always on top of our mind. You know, we always are aware that there's others that are struggling with things that we might not know about. Green is the color of Mental Health Awareness Week. On Thursday, students were encouraged to wear green to show support for those suffering from mental illnesses. Hopefully, the students go forward into the new year, understanding the daily struggles of those in need of mental support. This has been Jay Namjadi and Casey Leeper reporting for the Tiger Highline.